Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim over here at the driving range at the uh, Greens of Manatee Golf Club. And it's a beautiful day out here. I'm gonna set the camera up and uh, just swing at some balls and you guys can hopefully uh, take a look and see how you can analyze my swing for me. So I'm gonna use an eight iron here first. I hit two or three balls already uh, to see if I still have it. I think I do. You always got it out here in the driving range. Oh, we got some wind, huh? I need to put that behind my shirt. Is that what you want me to do? Let's try this here. It just doesn't get any purer than that. I am now hinging. I'm not falling back off the ball. I'm staying in place. More of a line drive, but a very good distance on that. Let me try a, another club now. <clears throat> I do like these uh, hybrids that were uh, donated to me by my good friend Johnny Vegas. And this is the three, what I generally uh, drive with. Let's see how this one works. Hinging. That was the worst golf shot in the history of America, history of the world. All right, let's try it again. Oh my gosh, you heard that, I'm sure. Whew, that first one was embarrassing. Man, that was a good shot. All right, let's look down this way here and see if we can put them where we want them. I'll take that. That was about 30 feet off the ground, straight out. Crushing it. Here we go again. You guys see me? Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely drilling them with this three. Now I want to try the... Uh, one of my favorite clubs here is the six iron. It's the longest iron I have when I'm trying to um, play conservatively. Let's see how it works. Jeez, folks, man, I'm hitting it pure. This is amazing. Are you guys getting this? Let me see. Oh my gosh, I'm really doing I'm feeling so good about it. See what I'm doing when I say hinging is I'm coming back, I'm hinging. I used to just do a one plane swing, but now when I come back, I'm hinging and I'm not falling off my back foot as I was very bad about doing from swinging too hard. I'm trying to slow my swing down. Not thinking about anything else but uh, seeing the club hit that ball. A beautiful six iron shot straight in front of me, high and long. Here's another one, let's see how I can do on that. We'll get that driver out in a minute and see what we can do. Oh my gosh, folks. I mean, I'm, other than that one duff shot, I'm crushing it. Well, I think it's time to to show what you're about and pull out the big dog here, the driver. Let's get us a T out. We're going to need a T for that one. Uh, bear with me over there. I got to get one out of my bag here. I got one. I got two. Well, I got one. Here we go. This is the longest club there is. And let's see if we can hit it. With the hinge. Let's see if that works. I would call that a little bit of a pull, not a draw. 
But I'm doing more right than wrong, they say, when you go left as a right-handed golfer. Let's see if we can uh, lay the club face like it should be. And now, once again. Man, this, this is working out. That was beautiful. I mean, I am crushing it. Man, these balls are going right out there, right in front of me, all with this hinge and staying in place, not falling off my back foot. All right, that one there, I saw a chicken winged a little bit because I swung too hard and that one leaked to the right. And that's the, uh, the worst mistake all golfers do is chicken wing. They come down through the swing and then they bend their elbow out instead of, so let me get back to slowing it down. No chicken wing, just hinge. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, baby. I like it, baby. I'm liking it. Yeah, baby. I'm ready for the course. I want to play with my buddies. Oh, there's a chicken wing. It's so tempting to crush it. I chicken winged. All right, how do you, how do you tell yourself when you come through, not, not to, this whoop, whoop, is a chicken wing. You gotta stay straight. Okay, I'm going down there towards them big trees. I'm gonna stay in position, I'm not gonna fall off. I'm gonna swing easy. And that, folks, is how it is done. What a beautiful golf swing. Oh man, that's only like three bad shots out here. Of course, that's how it always goes on the driving range. Oh, let's see. Right down there is a the fairway. That's where I want to put it. Slow it down. No chicken wing. Hinge. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. That's a pretty thing. That was a slow swing. That ball went a mile. Oh, man. This is awesome. I'm going to go back to my irons and uh, pick these off the ground as like in a second shot off the fairway. That's my last driver. Let's see if we can end it on a good note. Okay. I want to go down there, right in the middle. Here we go. Nice and easy. No chicken wing, no falling backwards. Easy go. Hinge. I didn't do anything I said, but that ball is playable. I went through too fast. I chicken winged, and that's the problem with these extra longer club, the driver of the tendency I have. Now let's go back to an iron. Let's take the old seven iron, baby. Yeah, everybody loves a seven iron. Remember 10 cup? Seven iron never fails you. So let's hit it. Okay. Got the grip right. I use a baseball grip, by the way. Hinge. I don't need to play with nothing but this club. What a shot. What a shot. High, far, straight out in front of me. Easy game. Hinging, proper grip. Don't fall back. I'm nailing them. I'm nailing them. Who is this guy? Where did I, where'd this guy come from? Oh, man, I can see pars. I can see pars on my scorecard. 
No more than a bogey. Now that was a pull on a seven iron. That might have been off the fairway. All right, that's like the third or the fourth or the fifth bad ball out of the bucket so far. But again, when you go left, you're doing more right than wrong, I've heard. These slices are just completely out of control. So let's go again. Let's put it behind us. I want to go straight down that way. Hinge, baby. He takes it. He takes it. Let's see if I can compress one. Pick it really nice. This seven iron is so sweet. I haven't found a club yet I can't hit. Let's see what the, uh, what a 56 degree, how far I can actually hit it when I need to do my approach shots. This is the, this is the scoring part of the game right here, the short game. When you get to the green and you got to get it on the green and put it in. That's where it's at. Let's see what we got here. Let's see how far this thing goes. Looks like about 50 yards. It goes straight up. And what this club is designed to do is when the ball comes down because it's so high, it doesn't keep rolling. You want it to land on the green and stay there. Because if it drops straight down versus coming on like this and rolling off, that's what this club is designed to do. So let's see uh, if I can place another one right where that ball is. Hinge. right where the other ball is, nice and high. It landed on the ground and didn't move. It bounced one little bounce and stayed right there. And it looks like I've got, I'm getting 45, 50 yards with this 56 degree with a full swing. Huh. I caught that one by closing the club up. That ball went 100 yards. So let's go one more. Make sure we keep this one going up, not out. This is not an, an out club. This is an up club. Short distance and high up. All right. There we go. That's how you do it. You get underneath it, it's exactly where those other balls were, within about 10 feet. Now, I want to use the uh, A wedge. This is a club that was given to me by Johnny Vegas. It's called a, an approach wedge. It's got an A on here. Let's just see how many yards I get out of this. So we saw the 56 degree was giving me about 50 yards straight up and down. This is to get there. It's almost like a, um, a pitching wedge, but Let's find out how far we get with it. Well, <laughs> that one didn't go any further than that 56 degree because I hit it fat. Okay, rank that one as another bad shot today. Here we go again. Let me put the ball more in front of me. Hinge. Okay, looks like about 75 yards minimum. Let's try another one. Approach shot, definitely goes further. Put the ball more forward in my stance. Hinge. That was a good shot. And looks like I'm getting really close to the 100 yards, about 80 yards. One more with this approach shot, approach wedge. And again, the ball in the front is definitely working out better for me. Yes, 
this is a, a definitely a 75 yard club right there. Now we take the pitching wedge and we'll hit our remainder of our balls. We only have about five or six left. And this is the pitching wedge. This is a club that I was never able to hit if it was um, uh, over 100 yards. So here we go, let's try it out. Pitching wedge. Let's see if it puts it out there further than that A wedge. Okay, hinge. I like the club. It's right about the same as that um, A wedge, but man, I like the way it felt. Let's try it again. Uh, ball in front, not in the middle of my stance, a little slightly forward. Hinge. Man, that was crisp. Nice and high. Landed right there, right at 100 yards. A little bit more than that A wedge. Let's get another one here. Let's see if it's going any further. Uh, they're about the same, but I like this club better. I mean, you know, for just right now. Here we go. Ball in front. Just inside my left heel. Hinge. That was the proper 100-yard pitching wedge shot. That was so perfect, so high, came down, landed, and stopped right where it was at. All right, I've got a few balls left here. Uh, I have another hybrid that was given to me by Johnny Vegas, and it is the 5 hybrid. This is a, a Callaway, a very, very sweet club. It'll put a lot higher than the three-wheel, and it's an awesome club. Let's just drill a couple of them out there with our new hinge swing. Ball in front, hinge, don't fall backwards. Oh man, I wish the camera, I'm still looking at it, it's still in the air, it's still going. What a shot, what a shot. Oh my goodness, man. These clubs are amazing, thank you so much Johnny Vegas. All right, balls in front, proper grip, hinge. Folks, I'm playing with this club all day. Oh my gosh. This ball, this, this club is crushing it. Man. All right, one more. There's four balls left after this one. Going out straight, balls in front. Got to remember all these things. Hinge. Just amazing. Just amazing is all I can tell you. All right, what have I got left in the bag here? I've got a nine iron. Now a nine iron, I should try that one because this is like with the A wedge and the pitching wedge, this is a nine iron. This will give you maybe 110, 15, 20 yards. Let's see what we can do with it. If I can hit it pure and I can, uh, you know, hinge, let's see. Okay, ball's right on inside my left heel. Not gonna fall back, I'm gonna hinge. Hundred and twenty five all day, baby. And high and gorgeous. Man, the clubs are amazing. But you know what? Clubs don't mean anything. It's really the golfer. Because if clubs meant anything, we'd all go out and buy them thousand dollar clubs and be like Tiger Woods, right? So they don't really, there's a degree they do something, uh, but it's really your technique. And I've been playing golf my entire life. I've had a lot of techniques and most of them have failed me. But today I'm a winner. Winning. All right, here we go, hinge, baby. Three balls left. Right out in front of me, super high, 125, 30 yards easily with a nine iron. Wow. I am super stoked. I'm super stoked. Here we go. No falling backwards, hinging. 
Another perfect ball, folks. Absolutely perfect. Last ball. Does he finish on a good ball? Which club do I use? This one? Keep it rolling? Why not? It's already in my hand. All right, folks, here we go. Last ball. This is to play Sunday and a share of the $6,000 prize money. All you got to do is keep it in the fairway. Here we go. Ball's up forward inside my left heel. I'm hinging. It couldn't have hit it better. Oh, it just landed. Folks, just go ahead and give me my PGA card. I'm ready. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I appreciate you watching. And I'll be analyzing my swing. And any of you out there that have uh, been watching the video that uh, can critique me, go ahead. I had maybe four bad balls. Uh, I'll even say five. And one was like a real duff. I hit the ground. I was digging for gold. But other, other, all the other balls were, and these are like not the best balls they give you here. They're kind of, there's a couple of new ones in there. Most of them are kind of crap. And these balls all went very far. So I just couldn't be happier. There's all the clubs that I used. I want to thank Johnny Vegas again when I was in Laughlin and I'm coming back out. They gave me these clubs to play golf and get back into the game. And I mean, there's a thousand dollars worth of golf clubs here. Uh, that was donated to me. And when he gave me that bag, it had balls, gloves, tees, ball markers, everything you can imagine. I mean, I've never had such a nice gift. I really appreciate it. And I've never been more excited because I'm a golfer than I am right now of how I just hit these balls. So thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. I always ask that now. Appreciate it very much. Crush it.